A string of deadly storms tore through the middle of the country, devastating several communities. Tornadoes flattened dozens of homes from Oklahoma to Wisconsin. At least two dozen people were killed, and dozen, at least two people rather were killed, and dozens more were hurt. The massive system stretches across more than 1,000 miles. So far, 26 tornadoes have been reported across five different states. David Begno is in Chatech, Wisconsin. That's one of the hardest hit communities. David, good morning. Gail, good morning. It is still raining as we get our first real look this morning at the damage, which spans nearly 50 miles, 50 miles here in Wisconsin. At this property, it's as if somebody took a knife and sliced off the treetops, bulldozed what was on this slab. But I want you to look at the back part of the property. That house back there, it's as if it was untouched, except for a few shingles on the roof that were merely displaced, as what's believed to have been a tornado hopscotch through here. Ten minutes down the road, as the crow flies, there is a mobile home park that was hit, and the damage is severe. Video captured from above this trailer park in Wisconsin shows the power of what is believed to be a tornado. We pulled walls off of people and uh, then carried them, put them on stretchers, leg injuries, uh, arm injuries. It's nothing I've ever seen in my 20 plus year career in law enforcement. Down power lines, trees cut off at their trunks, and a massive field of debris has littered the neighborhood many call home. One person has died at this trailer park. These are people we work with, they, we go to school with, and, uh, and they're our friends and our neighbors. All my neighbors are okay. In Elk City, Oklahoma, a tornado tore through this subdivision. At least 100 structures were damaged and more than 50 destroyed. Elk City Mayor Bill Helton. The devastation was, it's hard to explain. It looked like some of the homes just exploded. Of course, some of them looked like they'd been, you know, blown apart by high winds. The winds toss buses and trucks in this lot like matchbox cars. And reports of people trapped in their homes kept rescue crews working overnight. A 53-year-old man was killed after his car was thrown several hundred feet, pinning him between his vehicle and his home. Our affiliate in Oklahoma City says that man was in his house, called 911, said, I'm going to my shelter and never made it off his property. Nora, today, if you live in the upper Midwest, you are under a severe weather threat. Stay tuned. These pictures are scary. David, thank you so much.